well hi everyone this is sagar shah and uh, just want to know if everyone can hear me well we are going to start something new today uh, and uh, it's uh, improve your chess with sagar shah so i'm going to be working with you guys uh, for 21 days why 21 days i think most of you would be aware but still for all those who do not know i'll let you know in a bit but first let me know in the comment section if you can hear me well i have a few people here uh, yasiru mihiring mihiranga who is here hi yasiru uh, maybe pravina mahatre is here avdut avdut ghugare uh, yasiru says he is from sri lanka uh, of course i know you uh, welcome to the show jao vitor hi ayush naik namita hande sundar 1 2 3 4 uh navines okay great so you can hear me well uh, that's good news so what has happened is uh, prime minister narendra modi announced that there will be a 21 day lockdown starting from <coughs> today uh and well it's a very difficult time because you know i went down yesterday and there were so many things not available and i wanted to get some vegetables home but everyone was sort of fighting for the limited resources and i i felt like um, this is this is something that would happen in a movie you know everyone was with a mask and it was a situation which really was quite uh, difficult and uh, in such a situation i thought it's best if we all stay together stick together and uh, the natural idea which came to me was uh, why not start a 21 day live show where i'll be sharing with you all the things that have helped me to become a better player uh, and um, so for that we start right away from today and we'll do a few things so we'll we'll as we go on we'll discuss but i want to interact with all of you so if you have any questions please let me know in the in the comment section i see lot of people here i just give a shout out abhishek modak uh, kriti vasan nagarajan rohit kumar kavita naidu uh, m hanif sumit kumar gabriel fernandez maybe from spain uh, saif ali vidyut bora uh m das anshuman sharma so let's uh, let's begin first uh, and i think most of the days we'll we'll meet at 9 am in the morning uh, i feel morning is a good time to work on it i don't want to keep it too soon like 8 am also was possible but then you would be sleeping and so on so uh so the first thing that i want to begin with is warm up you know whenever you start your chess session it's good to warm up and that's why let's solve a few tactics together you know if we can do that uh, then that would be nice so i'm on chessbase account and i want to solve a few tactics with you so the main training session will begin in a bit but first let's warm up so uh, and also i want to get you involved so black to move here what should black do okay Rohit Kumar says I want to get started learning at chess where do I start okay rohit um, well a good way would be to just type how to learn chess on youtube on chess base india hindi nikhilesh has made a beautiful video if you have a look at it it will be very useful uh, siddharth but uh, well he's a chess trainer in delhi and a very good one so welcome siddharth yogesh kamal uh says hi okay easy for everyone hanif says it's from canada and it's 11 pm oh wonderful hanif thanks for sticking in maybe by midnight you can go to bed after one hour nishu patel ayush naik itohan ro rahul rohit have all got the right answer well done bishop h3 it's an easy one to just begin let's see if the next one is any tougher 
again i think very easy one let's see who gets it first black to move how do i get norm says itohan well itohan uh, do you have a rating that's the first question if yes what it is okay black to move what do you do here vishal hasrajani says i'm also in canada wonderful vishal so i think a lot of canadian people here um Rook E3, everyone. Nishu Patel, E C, Rahul Rohit, Ayush Naik, Rudra Patak, Bidyut Bora, Itohan, and Yasiru. Nice job, guys. Rook E3, and that's a checkmate. Okay, wonderful. Let's go to the next one. Maybe it'll be tougher this time. Not yet. Okay, this is pretty easy. Let's see how quickly you can solve it. There are more people. Shobhit, who's got it right. Also, Palik Swami. So this time it's black to move. Bidyut says, "Can you recommend a good opening?" Well, we are going to discuss a few openings uh, in this 21 days. <clears throat> so stick around, you know, for 21 days. Maybe we'll cover a lot of things. And yeah, the internet should support me. This is a very important thing because last time I went live with Bidyut, it was a disaster. Okay. Vishal says I am I am an Indian but I am here for studies. Okay, Vishal, very nice. You are in Canada. Also, Prabhas Choudhury, Nishu Patel is really quick. She is the first one to get it. Or he, I I don't know. I am sorry, but let me know. Uh, Ayush Naik says Queen B6, and Rohit Rahul Rohit says Queen G3. Well, Rahul, you can't put your queen on G3. Okay. So one of the things which I want to uh, stress upon. is that and maybe it's kind of your homework today is to get the notations right okay it's very important if you want to become a good chess player to get your notations correct for example if you are thinking about this move which is a checkmate which is given right answer by uh, several people here like sudhakar yasiru uh, diksha sharan rohit rahul rohit i mean everyone has got it but there are few people who say queen g3 it's not the right move the g3 square is here because the board is flipped okay black is at the bottom because it's black to move and so your task for today is to take a chess board if you have and to try to guess each square you know how i do it is if suppose this is a black board then i will say c2 e3 b4 f7 h5 g4 d4 e4 d7 b7 a4 so you need to be so quick to actually understand all the squares that are there on the board if you can do that then what will happen is that at some point your calculations will go faster so you will be like okay queen b6 mate not like queen g3 queen b6 so that's your first task to get better at notation and i have seen people when they neglect their notation for years and years they don't take it seriously their improvement becomes a bit slow and uh, that's true okay so okay nitesh mvc says any chess base 15 tutorials well we are going to discuss that as well here uh, in this okay Yeah okay so uh, Itaho Itohan says I practice that with Magnus trainer so that's good if you can practice it with anything you can even take a chess board and try doing that without any app okay let's go for a few more here this one looks really tough perhaps suddenly so it's like you know it warmed you up and now it says okay time for a tough one so this is what is it white to move vidyut vidyut says i've just recently acquired my rating how can i increase it well vidyut we make a start here you know we work together and try to increase the rating <clears throat> ayush naik says please stream candidates tournament well the we'll try i find this more useful we are going to work on something important uh, starting today 
so if we can make live streaming for candidates we'll do that as well prabhas choudhary i really wanted to know if sagar and amrita are going to make any other series like they did with sicilian khan well you need to uh, i need to get amrita rolling maybe one of the days when i can get her here in the live session and maybe do one together okay <clears throat> what will be the timing i think 9 am every day that's the timing yes every day we're going to meet here um sana jindal good morning okay sudhakar says queen into a5 also rudra rohit okay don't give me one move if queen into a5 what happens next try to come up with more moves for example if you take queen into a5 uh it is not the sorry i didn't want to make the move but it's not the end of the line you know it means he would take and then what next so my my one of the important things that i want you to understand is when you are actually trying to solve don't look at just one move go deeper so uh, i know everyone wants to give the answer on the chat but queen into a5 is met with b into a5 and then you don't have maybe you have one more check here but the king goes to a8 if you give a7 check king goes to a8 anyway so how how do you you know improve there so i have a nice variation by nishu patel let me read it also dimitri silzunko has given this answer which is a7 king a8 queen e4 check king into a7 rook d g1 wow who is this nishu patel you are very very What's your name, Nishu? Uh, is Nishu your name, or are you something different? How strong are you? Wonderful. This is Moses Livingston says. Thank you, Sagar, for the great work for promoting chess in India. Thank you, Moses. Okay, so a7, nice move. King a8. Well, if you took this pawn, by the way, then queen into a5. would be a pin because you know there is this bishop here so you cannot take it now uh, for all the people who who found this move which is spectacular in my opinion i have really strong players here on this live stream which i'm so happy uh, that all of you got now white to move uh, i know that uh, i've already said the answer but for all those who didn't uh, understand by the way uh nishu just said that his name is neev patel okay wonderful now for all those who say i have just achieved my rating how should i increase it i'm stuck like for example harsh surya vanshi uh also raghav kumar ja we going to discuss this uh, in the live stream today and next 20 days so quest a also said the same a7 so quest well done uh, now watch white's move here finally to end this entire thing come on who can find it okay yogesh kamal just asked the question so before you know uh, anyone tells me the answer i'm going to say um, that if you want to improve your notation quickly make an effort you know it's finally just 64 squares it's not like we are going to you have to remember 1000 squares just 64 so just keep saying you know whenever you get a chance keep saying the notation don't say oh ye this queen can move here no say queen g4 say queen c6 say queen a4 say queen g6 in this way keep practicing it's a practice and very interesting uh, that everyone says to get a habit in you rolling you need 21 days that's what everyone says i don't believe or i don't know but um, if that is true then why not start today and by the end of this entire camp you would be good at notation so when you say it try to work and don't expect miraculous results immediately be calm and work slowly okay wonderful we have rook dg1 by neev shyam krishnan sayan roy bidyut bora sm kishor rahul rohit daksh goyal 
Prabhas Choudhury, wonderful guys, excellent. Rook D G one traps the queen. So you see, it was very many of you were just looking at this side of the board, you know, because queen is here, bishop is here. Many of you didn't notice that this queen here could also be trapped, and see how both the things were matched together with a7, king a8, then a check, king a7, and rook dg1. It's a tremendous uh, variation because the queen gave a check and defended the knight, and then the rook came in. Okay. So now one more, I think we'll do one last before because all, all of you look warmed up already. So this one is, oh, it's an easy one. Black to move. Let's see who gets it fast. Who gets it quickly? Uh, Itohan says, I'm not good at tactics if I'm timed. Well, Itohan, the problem is if you play chess, then there is a timer which comes into the picture. So, you know, you have to... Have the time element. Amresh Kumar says, "Is there any discount for chess-based products?" Well, not really, uh, but maybe we may start something. Uh, if, if, but right now there is no discount. How to learn opening and make effective? Raj, you need to stay back for today's show and also next 21 days. You will learn it. Yeah, Tejas Jos Joshi is the first one. Who got the answer right? Well done, Tejas. Uh, and Sai and Roy, you have to work on your notations. Okay, this is black at the bottom. So, uh, everyone who gives wrong notation, I'm going to say that for the next few days. Neev Patel gets it right. Sana Jindal gets it right. Shyam Krishnan is right. Ayush Naik is right. Um, Tejas Joshi. Prakhar Gupta. Well, Prakhar says Bishop. Mm, interesting because bishop b3 is one option and uh, yeah that's an interesting one okay let's come to it dimitri slizunkov is right vishal hasrajani is right hasrajani vidyut is right quest a queen into absent quest work on your notations uh, okay so Queen into c2 is the correct move. You take this and you take it here and then you win the queen. Someone said bishop into b3. What's the problem here? Because see, if, if he takes here, then you can take on c2 and this looks completely winning. But what is the problem? Can anyone find out? Rahul Rohit says, I told second. Well, Rahul, well done. You said the right answer. Uh, what is the problem here in this very position? Who? What is it? Uh, Filmy Buzz. Filmy Buzz says Queen Eight. No. What check? Bhairab Gogoi. What check will you give? Not just check. Come on, guys. Don't be lazy. Yeah. Type your proper full variations. Queen F8, Shyam Krishnan, Ayush Naik, well done, Tejas Joshi. Queen F8 is the right check here. Don't make Queen G8, that would be a blunder. Bishop will take it. Queen F8, check so that the Queen cannot be taken. And then when the King moves, you pick up this Bishop and well, White may well win this game. So, okay, are we done with the tactics today? I think enough of warm up. Uh, the next part which I want to work on today is to play a blitz game just one game just to show you how to play blitz for that uh, i have my play chess on here and i'm in the play main playing hall i don't know if anyone of you is over there then we can play but let me make a three plus two i don't like to play very fast games but okay one minute let me uh we draw this and put a good formula here say elo 1500 to 3500 and i'm going to play a 3 plus 2 let's see the main idea is not to play blitz but to actually show you how to play a blitz game and then how to work with it okay 
Vidyut Bora asks how to improve in time pressure. My suggestion has always been don't get into time pressure. Okay, by the way, here's one guy. He's five minute chess. Hendrik. I like increment, but well, no increment. So let's say let's begin with one d4. Okay, this is what I'm going to start with today. Knight f6. Okay, you guys can help me c4 but i'm going to talk about what i'm thinking here okay he wants to play the nimzo with e6 so let me go knight c3 bishop b4 okay uh, and uh, well one of my favorite lines is e3 castles okay now knight g2 is also a nice move but let me go bishop d3 it's also strong b6 okay and now I like this, uh, let's say knight g2, bishop b7, I will castle, c5, hmm, interesting. Okay, how about going d5 here, because if I go d5, if he takes, takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, I have bishop h7 and queen d5, so I like this. Whenever you can close this bishop here on b7, it's a good idea. So here it's a good idea. By the way, there's no increment. So I shouldn't get under time pressure and lose this. It's important. Although this game is more for explanation, I should also try to win it. Uh, okay, I guess natural is e4 to get more space in the center. Now I want to also pin this knight here with bishop g5 if that is a good move. Uh, bishop f4 is also possible. Well, anyway, let's go bishop g5. Pinning this knight, it's a, it looks like a good move for me. Knight e5. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can I give up that bishop? You know, I know it's it's an important piece, but... Well, one of the reasons I don't want to give up is because I may get a tempo with, you know, f4 later on. So, that's on my mind. But if I go knight g3, knight d3, queen d3, and I want to go knight h5 next because this bishop is really out of play. He may go h6, and then I really can't go bishop h4 because of g5, or can I? Because then knight f5 g h well it leads to sharp play that's for sure it leads to very interesting play actually i think i'll do this especially because these two bishops are really out of play so let's let's go for it knight g3 Yeah, knight b1 with the idea of a3, Shanta Kumar, interesting. Okay, c4. Mm, I don't like this move so much because I can just play my bishop back here and well, you could have taken that bishop actually, but you did not. Bishop a6. No, come on. Knight, what about knight h5 now? You, you're going to get into trouble. Knight h5, knight f5 is also strong. Yeah, let's let's go for the attack. Knight h5. Well, overall, he's playing on the queen side. I was forgotten his king side as, as such. And now let's go more on the attack with f4. Queen e8. Well, that means that you're going to compromise your structure completely. Uh, bishop f6, knight f6. What should I do? Maybe it's the same. Take. Take, take, and what shall we do? Queen h5 looks tempting here to get the rook next in. Yeah, let's let's go queen h5. I think that looks strong. Or there is also queen g4 check and queen h4, which is also powerful. Um, well, queen h5, king h8, e5 is already game over you know h7 mate so 
I think I'll go for queen h5. It's it looks more direct and and should finish him off faster. You need to be very alert when you're winning because often when you're winning you take things lightly and uh, well that's the end of it. I have only one minute left, 25 seconds, or I think I'm going to get to his king before that. Hopefully, hopefully. Don't give me stress. Someone told me how to be good at time pressure. My suggestion to you is don't get into time pressure. F5. Yeah, I was expecting this move. I'm not going to play. Uh... Yeah, let's go E5 so that I can take it with the bishop. Ah, I missed this. F6 was coming. Oh, no. Okay, queen F5. He's now threatening F7. H7. That could have been faster ways to win. But, you know, I have to be careful with my time. That's the main thing. Okay. E6. Queen G7. I guess time to get your rook into the play. Uh, here. Okay, rook g3 now and next rook h3 that should be strong there's no way to defend h7 now well i just hope i win my first game that i'm streaming <laughs> uh, but i think i should win this one minute to go h6 or something could be played but then rook h6 king g8 Rook h7 is strong, yeah. Well, maybe it's very bad for him now. Rook g8 is just mate. How to mate? Let's mate in style with the queen. Queen h7. I could have done better. Okay, we won. Thank you. Thank you. I, I couldn't follow the chat. I was too focused. Um, I hope I played decently. I'm not going to go for another game, but I want to show you something. So I close this right now and I open my chess base 15. Okay. I open my chess base 15 and I go to cloud databases. Okay. Now, what happens is all the games that you play on play chess are synced with your cloud. Uh, there will be one folder called playchess.com. So here it is. And uh, I go down here to see if that game which I played, what was the name of the opponent? I forgot. Maybe Hendrik Chess, if I'm not mistaken. Is it here? Ah, not here. Yeah, yet. Ah, here it is. It has come just now. The game is over. Hendrik Chess is here. So what I usually do is after playing a game, I analyze it because really speaking you don't want to uh, just play 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 and not improve so all of you here you know you see the title of this entire series is improve your chess okay so improvement I always believe that if you are improving at something along with doing it you're getting better at it okay uh, new says um, do we need a, a premium account for this well, in general, yes, because if you do a normal membership, uh, it will expire after three months. So you need a premium membership. Okay, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, e3, castles, and bishop d3. Now, on chessbase 15, I have a tab called as reference here. If I click here, you will see that all the games that have been played in this position are loaded. So you will see here, I, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but d5 is the main move, c5 is one possibility, b6 is also a possible move. So he played the third most popular move in this position, b6. And as I had mentioned while doing my live stream of the game, that knight e2 and knight f3 are the two main moves. I went for knight e2. My idea is simple, you know, if I get an option, I'll play a3 and then bishop c3 I can take back with the knight. Okay. Now, uh, 
bishop b7 was played and uh, well he wants to take this pawn on g2 anyway i can sacrifice that as well but i'll i castle now one thing which everyone here is looking at try to be alert that what i am trying to say you know uh, when you play in the opening develop your pieces quickly control the center if you look every move that i made c uh, first move was d4 c4 e3 knight c3 bishop d3 knight e2 castles every move is a developing move i have not wasted time that's very important okay now cyan roy says is e4 possible now uh, but it's black to move if i had gone e4 here it was not possible because knight e4 this knight is pinned so uh, when i castle yes i create a threat of e4 so here uh, instead of knight e2 okay uh, is this possible uh, to play e4 okay interesting if i play e4 uh, one of the problems i feel in this position is that I move the same piece again first of all but it's an interesting move you are controlling the center now as black okay this is what i'm going to teach you in the second half today like in the last part of our session today is a book about one technique which has made a huge impact on me to help me improve at chess so i'm going to talk about it so right now i don't want to discuss it in detail but e4 definitely is interesting let's see if someone has played it before if you look at here yes there are a few games so cyan your your suggestion is not completely out of out of line uh, but let's say uh, what i feel is that black should try to open up the position because white has made a move sort of a waste move e3 e4 so i would suggest d5 here uh, because let's say take take and now e5 this is most natural i can jump in with knight e4 i know i would love to have my pawn back here this looks like a just unnecessary move but maybe this is a good way for black to play like knight g2 is what people have played here but this is a, a definite possibility cyan well done okay um yeah mahua gosh said d5 is the best move here after knight e2 bishop b7 castles d5 is the best move well done this is what he should have played you know this was the move and you will see that there are so many games that are being played in this position by the way for all those who have chess base 15 and mega database and are curious how this is happening is that just to show you if you have a chess base 15 just go to oops sorry not new data just go to your database say mega database right click it go to properties and make this your reference database if you make this your reference database then every time you will search oops sorry not this game uh, i wanted i'm showing you this game every time you get a position and you click on reference it will check in the mega database about this position and tell you what are the games there which ones and it's very useful i use it all the time so all those who are suggesting how to prepare the opening well i would say this way okay to d5 uh, everyone has played cd i think ed is correct now and then to go a3 okay this is how i think i would have also continued bishop d6 back and uh, knight g3 or b4 has been played by navara so this is how maybe the game would have continued and now what i'm doing is I'm preparing myself that if the same opening happens again, I should be well prepared. So I, I am not looking at, oh, my opponent made a weak move here with C5. So doesn't matter. I don't need to prepare. But what if my opponent plays a strong move next time? What should I do? I will take, take A3, Bishop D6 and play B4. So I am using these online games to get stronger for my other games. Now I will see that 
Navara, who is a strong player, has played two games here against Mosesian. So it's some kind of a match. Uh, so I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So that for my future reference. Again, there was another game of Navara here uh, after B4. The second game with Mosesian, I'm going to take this and I'm also going to paste it here. So you will see I have two games of Navara in it and I'm going to work with them later on to see and understand about more about this opening. Okay. Yeah, a lot of points coming up here. Uh, well, I, I'm going to uh, discuss this, all the questions that you are asking, but right now, um, B4, this D5 was the best move. My opponent played C5. And this is where, you know, I, I think was alert because let's say if I played a move like A3, okay, very natural move. Then he would take, take CD, ED and D5. I, I'm not sure if uh, <coughs> this is the only way. But I find this to be quite a logical way to play in this position. And then, you know, later on, let's say I go bishop g5, dc, bishop c4, knight d7. I think black has a good position here. Uh, although white has the bishop pair, it's an interesting position. It's, it's not better for white, okay? So this is the reason why I would recommend that you be very alert when your opponent makes move. And I was able to get in this move d5. And the point is that if you take, take, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, then I go bishop h7, okay, king h7 and queen d5. And I think I have a clear advantage here. One thing is that this bishop suddenly doesn't know what it's doing on b4. <laughs> where are, Where is everyone gone? Yeah. And the second thing is this rook is attacked. And if you go knight c6, which seems like a good move. I can always play rook d1 and attack this backward pawn. Also, later on, I can try for e4, free this bishop out. So, it gives me a very good position. Okay. Now, my opponent played d6. Now, I'm going to ask you a question here. If this is the structure in the game, like this. Okay. What kind of a structure is this called? Now, this is a slightly advanced question. I don't know how many of you will find it, but what is this called? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Cyan Roy, uh, Bishop B2 in these lines is a logical idea, says Eric Du. Possible. Bishop b2 is a uh, possible b3 bishop b2. How do you know when you have a bishop pair, says Itohan? Mm. Well, I mean, if I have a bishop pair on the board, I would know I have a bishop pair. I guess you want to ask, how do you play when you have a bishop pair, right? Well, stay tuned. I will discuss this. Hi, Sagar. I would like to know how to analyze the database games after resign steps. What can be done after the resign game? Okay. There is one feature in Chessbase 15 which uh, is very interesting, which I don't know if it is possible with cloud databases, but when you right click, there's a button called tactical analysis. If you click here, it will ask you, how do you want to analyze it? Do you want to analyze it fine? Do you want to analyze it medium force? And how much time do you want to give per move? So let's say I say 10 seconds per move. Then for every move, it will take 10 seconds. If there are 40 moves, then it will take 800 seconds because both sides move. That would be around roughly 15 minutes or so. And then you do OK and it will analyze your game. Right now, I don't want to try it because I am analyzing my own game. But there is a ready-made feature to analyze your game. <clears throat> Stehan says, what do you think is the best way to study openings, whether to study old games or new? Stehan, I think old games can form a good base so that you know the concepts. And then new games can give you the latest theory, what's happening. So a mixture of both would be nice. I would say start with old, go to new games. Nishu Pat Niv says Benoni, Shant Kumar Gudla says Benoni, Mahua Ghosh, Benoni, Stehen. Very good, yeah. This is, I mean, I am in the middle with very strong players. Yeah, they know that this structure is called the Benoni. 
and uh, you must remember benoni structure is a very very um, how do i put it risky structure because black is saying to white take these central pawns you know do what you want to do i have a queen side majority i'm going to start pushing here now the problem is that this is a benoni that has gone completely wrong for black okay can anyone tell me why has it gone completely wrong for black this benoni here anyone who can tell me reasons why this benoni has gone completely wrong uh, i would be very happy to know okay ashutosh says how to how to improve chess with mega database opening encyclopedia and chess base 15 well ashutosh right right now what we are doing is trying to improve with chess base 15 and mega data so this is really useful uh gitu says how can i get play chess premium account go to chessbase.in go to our online shop so just to show you very quickly go to chessbase.in here uh this is our website go to online shop read some news by the way go here and in search product type account and buy your account for a 3 months or a year from here okay moli patra says son of sorrow yeah mole mole you are right son of sorrow is the name given to ben uh, is what benoni means yeah um okay so here there are people who have said rahul rohit uh, mahua ghosh says the bishop is on b4 well done mahua the bishop is usually on g7 with the pawn on g6 good excellent rahul rohit also says bishop should be on g7 well done sayan uh, prakar gupta says d6 backward well in benoni you usually have this backward pawn so this is not a difference here although it's it's a strategical risk but it's not different in this case har suryavanshi says c5 well guys this structure d6 c5 is the benoni structure so but this one is a bad benoni okay nupur sancheti says perfectly this bishop on b7 is dead bishop on b4 is misplaced these are the two main things with my next move which is e4 i simply kill this bishop and i tell him what are you doing on b7 you should be on c8 so you see the opening has gone completely wrong for him very good wagish rai says why people like benoni structure well the reason is when you want to win a game of chess often you have to create some imbalances and here there is an imbalance so if you are a superior player you can outplay your inferior opponent but well when you get all these bishops misplaced like this i think even a player like me can win yeah so <laughs> okay um yes d6 is weak says wiki demola um but mikhail botwinik is also on the show and he says b7 and b4 bishop are in the wrong place in this structure well done i'm really enjoying today because um you guys are into it you're not asking me questions like how to improve how to improve you know it's like saying how to improve is like asking uh going in front of a well or a water body and saying how do i quench my thirst how do i quench my thirst well, the water is there you know drink it so same way if you are here in this session don't keep asking how to improve try to solve what i'm asking this will help you improve okay Prabhas Choudhary said the bishop can be exchanged with bishop a6 well done prabhas i'm very impressed this bishop is bad so why not exchange it excellent i mean it's so logical when you start thinking logically chess is not difficult this bishop was bad i play if i take take it's an improvement black who was low on space got a piece exchanged so by that logic do you think that i should try to save my bishop uh, here by playing bishop c2 possible that is one possibility i'm also looking at some other ideas here uh, as to yes that you will you know take this guy here but i can take first take and somehow your knight is slightly misplaced so i can go bishop g5 now 
and my plan is to go knight g3 knight h5 you know this is what i want to do possibly so bishop a6 definitely you are a thinking man who was it who, who said it um prabhas yes well done prabhas um Grishchu loves Benoni, says Akshay Sharma. Yes, a lot of people love Benoni. In fact, Gugar Gashimo, one of the greatest players who ever lived, uh, now no longer alive from Azerbaijan, was a great Benoni player. If you want to improve at Benoni, look at his games. Jackson Fernandez also said Bishop A6. Well done, well done. Mahua Ghost says, these 21 days I'm going to work hard. Yes, that's what. <laughs> she once said how should i improve <laughs> okay just kidding all right so in the game knight bd7 was played logical and i think i did i made a good move here with bishop g5 pinning this knight i i really want to start rolling my pawns in the center but getting the bishop out of the pawn chain and then rolling them just makes so much more sense knight e5 and here I had a decision to make. Should I play more strategically with bishop c2, keeping my bishop intact? Or should I do what I did in the game, which was knight g3, which is, a, which is risky? You know why? Because I'm giving up my bishop pair, first of all. He can take, take. And this is where I was really a little bit tensed, actually, in the game. You know, I was worried as because h6 is what i thought my opponent should play let's imagine that if i take here take here i think black is doing amazingly well now he has two bishops i mean not amazing is a bit too much but his rooks are connected and somehow he solved all his problems so my plan okay because it was a blitz game and i couldn't think so much was to go bishop h4 not f4 I wanted to play bishop h4 because now my threat is really very serious and this guy is suddenly saying oh if only I could be back there <laughs> what am I doing on b4 and the only way for black now to actually gain some thing is to play g5 you know and now what I wanted to do was to play knight to f5 so this was my plan basically to and after he takes to actually try and use this knight along because this knight is pretty well placed maybe i can take on h6 or you know if i had this check here it would be mate in one but i don't have it and i think i i was going if i would have done that i would have lost the game because here i don't see a finishing stroke right now is difficult i mean what can i do i, I mean there's an interesting move like 92 when I say to my opponent, hey, look, your bishop here is completely out of the game. It's stupid and doing nothing, but still doesn't feel the right way uh, to go. What do you think? What do you think? I think, yeah. SM Kishore says, if exchanged, then all light squares are weak. For me, yeah, if, if knight d3. So, no, this point here where, you know, this is the critical moment of the game, I would say, to decide what should have been my way forward. I think it was also a good idea to just say, you know, throw cautions to the wind and say f4. I like this move, actually, and now that I look at it, because then you take, queen takes, and now this pin can never be broken and I'm threatening e5 next. So for just to give you a sample line, if rook e8, e5 takes, takes, takes. Already I think I am I have done well to break his structure and uh, should be good position for me. I don't need to rush with e5, but just to give you an idea, maybe I can build it up as well with knight g3. Uh, also knight g4. You should seriously think about e5 and this is how you play you know when you are attacking don't worry about this exchange doesn't matter takes okay i will take here and you are going to lose material like this yeah so maybe i should analyze that position carefully i shouldn't be so uh, careless but this is a definitely an idea because after take take knight takes also possible is 
say just bishop f6 here uh, and breaking the structure and then my bishop is well it's possible i don't know if i would have played so recklessly but you see how in a game this was the moment you know this was the moment when i had to actually do something if i wouldn't have done it now uh, when i mean my opponent had to do something if he wouldn't have done it now then he would have been uh, in the game as you can see it just got over like c4 what is this move uh, i don't understand because after bishop a6 where is he playing i'm going to checkmate you here and it's just over because you see f4 and now this pin is perpetual my pawns are in the center i'm really really getting to him uh, he played queen e8 and now take 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 i think we reached a point in the game where you need to finish off your opponent and this is very difficult okay very difficult because when you when you have played well and you need to finish him off you often relax and this shouldn't happen and i think here it was important for me to be on the top of my game i, I think what i did queen h5 was fine mm, but i'm sure i have better ways can anyone suggest me certain better ways to attack here so i want to checkmate this guy you know i was not able to do it so well in the game Yes, Cyan Roy h6 was better than c4. Shivan says after f4, knight d3, queen d3, h6, bishop h4, g5, uh, fg5, knight d7. Oh, no, that would be too much. Okay, just to show you guys what Shivan was trying to say. Um, knight d3, queen d3. Not here, I think. Yeah, maybe. What was it? f4, yeah. f4. Well, the problem is, uh, but it's a nice idea suggested by him. Take, take, h6, bishop h4, g5, take. Well, the only problem is that, yes, you, you got things right. Now you will take this back. But look at your king. Look at this square here. Look at all the weaknesses. It's not going to work out. I'm sure that uh, I can find a way. I think one natural way can be queen g3 when it's all over. So good good uh, plan good that you are thinking but doesn't really work here okay uh, coming back to what i was asking you guys how can i finish off my opponent yes i have some answers okay uh, pallav maheshwari says e5 queen g4 queen f5 okay all the guys here who are like you know at home relaxing like this maybe having something to eat and telling me hey just go here 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 and take this you will win you are what are you playing don't do that we want to improve at chess and chess improvement comes with a sense of discipline which is when you make a move look at your opponent's move then make your move then so on so for example if i play queen g4 check king h8 queen f5 i like this whoever said this well done because now you're creating dual threats e5 with the mate and queen f6 which is excellent but try to think if black has something here you know can black defend himself and if you can't do that you will never improve at chess because uh, you are taking the lazy route okay so i think a possibility is rook g8 now if queen f6 rook g7 yes it's horrible but at least i'm defending uh, and uh, well at some point if you give me a chance i would like to maybe get this bishop back into the game and play on i think white is winning but anyway this is this is what i was thinking queen f g4 queen f5 is good i have few more answers here uh, nupur sanchet says Quest A says queen g4, okay. Anu Roy says rook f3. Yes, definitely. Rook f3 is a possibility here to get your rook like this, like this. But again, look at opponent's moves. What will your opponent do? Will he resign? No. He will try to fight. He will play king h8 perhaps. Try to get his rook to g8, g7. Uh, so accurate calculation is important. 
JD Jaydeep C5 says F5 Queen H5 Rook H4 Rook. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to entertain just ideas. You know, I'm. I want moves also. Okay. No, come on. Let's uh, start afresh now here. Um, so there are a few people. You have started discussing amongst yourself. So the chat has become slightly difficult for me to understand as to which move. I played queen h5. Possible. I was also very much interested in playing queen g4 check and queen h4. Because then I'm attacking here and I'm attacking here with e5 in the works maybe it was a better way to continue um but okay queen h5 is not bad what i did f5 i think f5 was a good move by my opponent and here i should have been more careful you know i can we can we finish him off here i mean i played e5 uh, because i wanted to take bishop f5 and checkmate or queen f5 here this was these were my plans but maybe can i you know the reason why f5 is good is because he can go f6 and then get his queen out i was thinking rook f3 but then take, uh, sorry f6 and then rook g3 and there's no mate but you see how chess is not simple, yeah. It's completely winning position. I can just take queen f5, should be good. Uh, but there could be something stronger, guys. Anyone here who can tell me after f5, rook lifting should have been done. Ashutosh single, yes. Ashutosh rook f3 is what I thought, but then f6. Anand Sivram says, Can you please change from notation to training world? Uh, well, Anand, the answer is not here, so don't worry. Uh, it's the game which we just played. New, new is the I think the the <coughs> player or you can say the student of the day is new. He says excellent move, queen g5. Well done, new. I'm proud of you because after check you give a check, you go here and you go to f3. Game over. This is how chess should be played. This is how chess should be played. You need to be specific when you finish off your opponent. Not like hey just. Play rook f3, rook f3, rook g3, something. Queen g5, force your opponent into the corner. Check him, get him out and then rook it. Do you get it? I hope you all understood. I think a lot of people have now said this move. Shivant as well. Um, well done. All those who found it, by the way. Karthik, Kanti, well done. Um, Shri Devi, Rongali, Pallav Maheshwari, R. Lakshman. Sayan also says, he said, okay, Sayan, I believe you. Avinash Prabhakar says, can you say hi? Hi, Avinash. Stehen 9000 also found it. <clears throat> so, the point is, definitely check and go there and this would have won. You can see how I played e5 and then suddenly f6 came and I was like, oh, no, I don't want to exchange the queens in such a position, although that would also be nice. I took here. And someone in the chat rightly pointed out that queen g6 would have been a nice move. Because if I move my queen, he can win the bishop here. Uh, and maybe I can give a check first. Push him back and then come out with a check like this. And then play e6. And I still am winning completely. Uh, but yeah, this was a stronger defense. He played queen f7. And then I got e6. Queen g7, I got rook f3, and now my rook is coming to g3, so he played king h8. Here, queen e7, rook h3. White wins. There is no way to defend h7. If he goes h6, I can just take king g8. Well, many ways to win, but I guess rook h7 should do the trick, yeah? Like next move, queen g6 or queen g4, and game over. <coughs> Well done, well done, all of you. I think um, Sam 
Cyan Roy says, I have a question after e4, why not knight fd7 instead of nbd7 or bishop a6? Well, here, knight fd7 seems logical, but then, you know, you, you're sort of cramped for space. And in such a position, well, I could very well <coughs> imagine playing f4, stopping your knight from coming to e5 and uh, having a good advantage. Next, I can go knight g3. Look to get my knight to f5. Queen can come out to g4. Looks looks promising. Yes, you have to agree. Okay, so I'm going to uh, leave you all with some homework for today. We are going to meet tomorrow again if the internet is working. I'm, I'm very worried that in this entire lockdown thing, the internet will go away and then we will be disconnected. Um, Oh, okay, Mikhail Botwinik says, can you please explain h6 line, queen h3, why it doesn't work? <coughs> Which one, h6? Uh, you mean, no, not here. Here, take, take h6 here <coughs> or somewhere else. Maybe, maybe here, you mean like this, 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 and now queen h3? Yes, possible, but yeah, bishop c8. I don't know, somehow take king g7. Not so sure. By the way, one important thing that we should do now, and this is how you should. So you see, we played a 3 plus 2 blitz game, okay? Not like a world championship match. But look at the amount of analysis we have been able to now is a good time to sort it out well you know so what i do usually after spending a lot of time is i don't have a coach you know i'm poor or i don't have the resources then i just switch on an engine here on chess base if you go to home add kibitzer i can add a kibitzer here the, all these engines i have which is freight stockfish leela so um, by the way for all those who want a freeze engine stockfish is open source freely available download it use it if you want uh, artificial uh, this ai engines then i would say go for fat fritz or leela chess and here i'm going to use fat fritz because it's a good engine uh, and i'm just going to check my analysis so you see here at the bottom of the screen i'm going to make it bigger for all the guys who can see many of people say don't use engines, they are bad. Yes, if it stops you from thinking they are bad. But if it helps you in your thought process, it's good. So here, you can learn. B6, Knight G2, and B, A, here A3 was good according to the engine, but okay, I don't really trust it so much in the opening. But you will see C5 was a bad move, and D5 is very strong. So I play D5, good. I played well here, d6, e4, and just to analyze my variation, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5, takes, takes, queen d5, knight c6, and here, rook d1. And uh, you should give always a evaluation at the end of every line. So here I will give plus minus. This is my evaluation. This is the best move in the position. And now, uh, d6 e4 knight bd7 okay if bishop a6 just check uh, bishop a6 is what computer likes to take knight takes and play bishop g5 yes that's what we analyze well done guys you, we we are we are good you know we are not like weak players <laughs> okay knight fd7 i suggested f4 again not a bad move so i like it knight bd7 bg5 knight e5 and here it suggests moves like let's just look f4 knight g3 also uh, bishop c2 not so much so okay let's look at f4 and i had two moves here one was to take take which the computer likes for white completely rook e8 it also suggests to go for a slow build up don't rush with e5 just go with knight g3 and i'm going to promote this line and make it into plus minus this position 
uh, e5 is a little bit rash and here also computer feels white is better after knight e4 so you know what this helps me is to understand whether my intuition what i was thinking was right or not shouldn't take it too seriously but definitely worth checking everything you have done rook e8 now knight g3 good move i think i played a played a decent move here knight g3 i'm just trying to get uh, to my knight to h5 uh okay knight g3 was played in the game i think yeah f4 would have been better just trying to see knight e g4 what is the best way to play according to the engines queen e1 is a good idea to get the queen here okay i learned something from this knight g3 c4 bishop c2 bishop a6 now coming to the line which i was very much worried which was h6 Oops, sorry, first knight d3, knight d3, queen d3, h6, and uh, well, what I wanted to do was bishop h4, and the engine immediately says minus plus. So I don't believe it completely uh, because it, I'll give it some more time to believe in it. But g5, knight f5, gh, and you can see it shows completely winning for black. So my intuition for my attack was not good you know i could have messed it up completely and uh, something like knight e2 can be simply met with bishop c8 dislodging the knight and if i took a pawn here which looks well, okay he goes king h8 and then black is doing well so definitely i should have played bishop f4 here which is stronger because then g5 means I can just come back bd2 and I'm very happy. Or oh, juicy square on f5, ability to open with f4. So I learned something new. Don't go rash. If you have a plus position, stay steady, play bishop f4, have all the advantages. Knight is coming to f5. Why to rush? You know. Okay, c4 was played in the game. Bishop c2, knight h5. This is I think this part of the game was well played by me. F4, queen e8 take 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 and now queen h5 i made the strongest move well done f5 and this is where you know i should have done what all of you told me to but i did not queen g5 check check and wins this is winning fastest way to win but i played e5 f6 queen f5 okay this is winning still queen g6 i should have played e6 according to the engine and play this sort of semi end game win the game queen e6 here check e6 uh, and wins so this was our analysis here and i think i analyzed it with the engine just to make sure and now solidify my learning from whatever we checked and i'm going to do control s which is save the game and in annotator, I'm going to write my name, Sagar Shah. Okay, I should I should write your name as well. Yeah, Sagar Shah, YouTube Live, because you know, all of you contributed a lot to this. And uh, we did it together. We won the game. We analyzed it. We learned a lot. You know, when I was an improving player, you know, what I used to think, and I'm, I remember this so, so well. Everyone used to tell me, hey, analyze your game you know analyze your games you will improve i got i went to a grandmaster he would say analyze your game and i used to feel but what's special in my games my games are just filled with so many mistakes why should i analyze my game why can't i analyze games of kasparo why can't i give, analyze games of carlson of anand and that's when uh, you know it struck to me that it's not about trying to look at the best games it is more about what are my weaknesses you know, I, I realized a very key weakness in me in this while analyzing, which was in a very good position. I got emotional, which was at this point, which was related to this move. I shouldn't get emotional. I should have just gone bishop f4. And this learning which you get by analyzing your game is actually going to make you uh, stronger much faster than analyzing maybe 100 games of Mikhail Tal yes it's good but 
why don't you take your own games it they are gems they are really beautiful spend time with them i know when a lot of people hundreds of people told me i still didn't do it but now i've realized i keep analyzing my own games i'm not interested okay i analyze a lot of games of the candidates of all the top events but when you get a chance don't miss your own okay okay so now what we are going to do next i wanted to do something today but we have already reached our time i want to do every day a session from 9 am to 10 am so tomorrow i will be seeing all of you guys uh the book which made a huge impact on me is this one okay uh here which is re oops ulta <laughs> it's reassess your chess how to reassess your chess i'm not going to uh, i've said this 100 1000 times whoever meets me says i want to improve i suggest this book because it really changed the way i thought and this is what we are going to do in this entire session of 21 days now 20 days is to focus on how to tune your thinking how to make it better so my suggestion is work on tactics become very good at it okay so homework let's let's put the homework here so that i can ask you guys tomorrow one is work on tactics so go to chess based tactics go to any tactics try to solve few tactics get your notations 100% correct okay this is something i want you to do and i have told you already i'm going to point out the squares say b7 c7 e3 g4 d1 a4 f7 h4 this is how the you, you should be very very quick and you should be able to tell me without looking at the board is c2 a light square or dark square light square e3 a dark square or light dark square g4 light d2 dark h7 light you know the board should become like your terrain in your head okay so get your notations 100% correct next what do i want to do play a blitz game or play any online game not blitz any even and analyze it okay analyze it on your own by the way anyone who wants to stay in touch with me wants to send back homework feedback whatever it is you can do so with sagar uh, with um, chessbaseindia@gmail.com write to us there and i if i can i will get back to you so if you have worked on it tell me what you did let's be in touch let's make it like an interesting session um <coughs> ishwi says thank you so much for the initiative ishwi i remember you we met met at world youth championships if i am not mistaken and you follow the channel regularly i'm very happy that you are here and i hope you gain a lot out of this okay shivan says thank you for the series looking forward to next 20 days wonderful okay jaydeep c5 says really appreciate it thank you so much jaydeep amar nath says the book is how to reassess your chess yes how to reassess your chess you can get it from chess base india shop if you want right now courier services are down if you place an order whenever they'll pick up we will send it to you uh, i'll be teaching you about it my interpretation of what i learned from the book not 100% from the book but what i learned i will teach you uh, i do 100 tactics every day itahan says itohan do 100 or do 10 do 20 but when you do it make your brain think don't be quick 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 okay if it's wrong i don't mind i have to reach 100 don't do that do it but try to do it well okay that's more important i would say even 20 is good but do it well okay uh okay anyone else thank you for this type of chess culture says m das okay quest a says i met you at kolkata who are you can you tell me your name funny verma says future champion interview with gukesh is not published well we'll do that okay thanks for the reminder uh it's not every day you learn from an im yes it's not every day hopefully we will all be able to make good use of this 
Ashutosh Singhal says, please make a video on the engine game that I sent you. Well, Ashutosh, I'll have a look at it. Uh, and if it's good, we will work on it. Pradeep, thanks for uh, Kanitkar. Pradeep Kanitkar, thanks for attending. You always, Rahul says, you always do your best to promote chess. Yes. Uh, so, is there a schedule I have to follow? Well, look at this, this way. There is no schedule for chess. Okay. It's not studies. You do it if you like it. You don't do it if you don't like it. Okay. You try to give your all. I know I have asked this question to so many youngsters. Pragnananda, Gukesh, Raunak, uh, Nihal. No one tells me I have to wake up, get ready, start working on chess. No. They work on chess because they like it. If you like chess, you work on it. Don't try to say, you, you know, 8 to 10 openings. 10 to 12 middle games it's a it's a way to make it dull it may work for you i'm not saying it may not but do it when you enjoy it if you enjoy it you will improve improvement should be a process like naturally happening not something that is forced upon okay will this be available as a recorded event yes it will be available so you can see it prabhas says i will see you tomorrow yes prabhas let's see you tomorrow Hopefully, I will be alive because at, in the, during the day, I analyze candidates, then I interview with it, then we, uh, then I write the reports. I hope I'll be, in, uh, I'll be able to get some sleep and be there. But I'll be there tomorrow at 9 to meet all of you. And uh, thank you so much. Last question, Sri Devi says, when is part 3 of My English Love coming up? Well, hopefully, I'll be able to find time. Now that so many of you are saying you are interested to see it, I'll work on it and uh, and get it there for you guys okay so these are the three homeworks i've given you work on your tactics get your notations right play online game and analyze it and see you tomorrow at 9 a.m help others in this through this period don't just be too much like help others not by meeting them online in any way you can but be happy Okay, 21 days of lockdown doesn't mean the world is going to end. We will uh, make it better. This is Sagar Shah signing off. Thank you.